My name is Ryan Miller, and today on Vermont Local Spotlight, we've got two members of Medela. Am I saying that correctly? Medela. Eric and Mark, you guys have a long history. We met in first grade at Mary Hogan Elementary School. We started our first band together when we were 16. Sophomore year of high school. Sophomore year of high school. Yeah. This is going to get annoying. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys graduated from Middlebury High? Is that a place? Is yeah, High Middlebury Union, Union, Middlebury high, school. Union high School. Yeah. And then what happened? Go, Go Tigers. Tigers. <laughs> Even when I hide, 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 I could never change completely inside. You see, it's my personality. Take me when I'm under the soul. Put me to a king of do this state of mind. Never want to build you up. Never want to bring you down. Keep it steady, keep your balance on the is a middle ground Sure, sure, sure Please just give me room to grow Try to understand Saying, saying Life will vary from the ways that you plan There's holes within the system Breaking down the rhythm Life is out of prison They won't be by all the noise You should never let you different That should be sufficient Make it be consistent Now that things I never can see It's my personality The mentality that I brought to these guys, like, let's be weird, let's have fun, let's not take ourselves too seriously, and let's wear spandex and set ourselves apart however we can. You know, be unique, be genuine, be yourself. The music should be the driving point at the end People of the day. People can but... feel it too. Like, there's some cool stuff happening. Like music nerd stuff. Yeah, there's tension created and the verse is, in, is minor and the chorus is, is major. And like, Mark's not trying to write like a good song. He's trying to write like the best song. And then one-up himself always. <laughs> Dogs and babies. Dogs and babies. The data disrupting, coming up. disrupting everything. <laughs> You're a multi-headed beast, Medela. But it feels like the way that touring bands work is you go and you play and you build up a, a local following and then you do concentric circles and you guys were like, right away, I was like, what do you mean they're playing City Hall? What do you mean they're doing yeah. the aquarium? What do you mean they're doing like the fairgrounds and they're gonna create their own fair? It felt awesome, that's why I was at all those shows. Not that I'm not a fan of your band, I was just like, what do you mean? Yeah. Maybe it comes from like, we've all been in bands before and been doing it for a little while. It's sort of like quality over quantity and that's putting a lot of focus on just one show and playing less and just working for months and months on trying to make this one show as cool as it can Magical. be. It's almost this national band attitude as a local band, right? Yeah. Say papa. Say papa. All right, big guy. Should we go change your diaper? Whoop. Oh, here. Want to play with that? Aldi, we're not done the book. Ready for a nap nap? Mama. Mama. Hey. 
Mark and Lex having Alder started this moment of like, things are real, we're not 22 anymore. We have this child to look after and we don't want to mess it up as a band, but also just as his uncles. We don't want to be taking Mark away for no reason for two months if it's not worth it, you know? Right. So for Mark himself, and granted he is the front man, right. this is a balance of home life and work life. Where the rubber hits the road on it is that there's the four of us that also have our own lives that we're trying to figure out, and we've been centering Medela for three years now. It was all a dream. I saw you fade into the night, fear of watching. So Medela was up and running before Aldi was even a gleam in your eyes, right? Definitely. Was it planned in this room? It was of a like welcome surprise. A month or two ago, I was just like, guys, I really just can't tour quite as much as we are. My perception of the band, it's your livelihood and it's your friendship and it's your professional dream. I mean, you have an ambition to be in a band that has success. It's the closest that that I've come to being able to make a living right. in the industry doing original music that I love. That's like super, super hard. It's so super hard. To feel this close, that's part of what the frustration for me is. It's like, oh man. As a new band, you really can't afford to slow down. It's, it's you really want to ride that momentum when you can. It's a fleeting business. Yeah. I don't expect everyone to wait around. They've had to adapt to my life in a way. It's tough for both sides. It's like on, on my side, I feel pressure to keep things going, yeah. keep them interested. And then on their side, it's like, come on, we're, we're waiting. We want to, we're itching to go, right. you know? I've written a ton of music since he's been born too. Like this newfound love is just giving me new inspiration. You can't put a price tag on your happiness. Doesn't work like that. Money doesn't solve it all, it can steal your heart, leave you searching to the end. Well, I'd rather die than to follow something other than my passions and dreams. What's the mother point? Invest in yourself where your heart doesn't lie. Ooh, I'm just trying to be heard. Need your full attention to every single word. I am going to do. I'm gonna 
Told the band, and everyone was so psyched, so yeah. supportive, and especially Eric, he like he loves kids too. So it yeah. was it was well received. But then the band was going to have its own trajectory, and then Aldi came along. Is it safe to say that the trajectory swayed, like changed at all? Yeah, or like you could say stalled for sure. Have you ever seen that Reddit meme where the guy's riding the bike and he shoves a stick in his own and his own spokes <laughs> yes. and then he's on the ground? Yeah. And, and not to say that the baby is the, is the stick and the spokes, but... Well, that is what you're saying. But I am saying that because you're <laughs> saying that you, you have this... You know, as, a, as a loving father, too. Um, Hi, kids. Where were you at in your band, in Guster, when you had kids. The smartest thing that we ever did, and it actually wasn't us, is that all of our wives had a conversation and they said, it's time. And they all pulled the goalie at the same moment. No way. And, all at the and same time. me and Brian and what? Adam, who met each other when we were 18 years old, all had daughters within four months of each other. That's awesome. Which is crazy. And it actually probably yeah. saved our band. Because I was going to say, that's like, that's why you guys are still a band. That's why we're still a band. <laughs> Ready? I'm ready. Everybody find a record that is super important to them or defines them in some way. You have six minutes? Go. We'll come together at the end. I feel pressured by having to like single one out. Like I can't just pick one. Got one. Thelonious Monk. Let me see what you got. I got a lot of things. Well, let me see what you got. Just killing me. All right, moving on. This is the best record of all time. <laughs> Do we have a buzzer? What's your favorite tune on there? Whoa, Eric, really making you dig. Without uh, looking. Without, <laughs> without looking. Danny. Mine is Van Morrison, Moondance. Great uh, rack club. Both my parents had CD players in the cars, but they would refuse to have more than like five CDs in the car at a time, and this one was in both. So I've heard it like a bazillion times. Favorite song, Into the Mystic. Yeah. yeah. When that foghorn blows. That is one of the best songs ever. I picked one of my favorite songs of all time, and it's The Man in Me. Uh, <laughs> he's snoozing you. OK, so I picked, Nobody's paying I picked attention to you. one of my. <laughs> no, what, oh no. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, you did it now.
proud of like our level of success that we've achieved regionally but by no means are we like making a ton of money right so that makes it a little bit more challenging well, think, on a financial standpoint right which is dumb and stupid but it's, it's a okay if like you have to eat ramen noodles when you're a single dude but it's another thing right. like when you're like or school and or safety seats and like or whatever yeah. i obviously have my hands full raising a human but trying to like communicate that to the guys who don't have kids. Yeah. We understand that a baby is probably more important than anything we're doing right now. <laughs> I love the probably. But like also, <laughs> you know, plenty of people never even have kids. It's not you like didn't have to have this kid. Well, there's, yeah. <laughs> but also like people, people leave. <laughs> I love it. I love babies, babies are good. <laughs> The funny thing about this is, like, I am obsessed with babies. You like, are obsessed with babies. I will babies. cross the street and say hi to, like, a baby. And no, I know, the, the, I know this the, about The parents you. will be like, hi. And I'll be like, hey, no, I'm just <laughs> talking, talking to you, baby. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> no, no, not no, you. Not <laughs> right. You understand. You understand. I'm a parent, kind of too. Love. Yeah, a I have a dog. <laughs> <laughs> right? You're a parent, too. He's like, whatever. Clutch your wheel with all my pain. I got a half face so I don't curse your name. Maintain control The open road she keeps me straight No dead that that's ever gonna steal my fate I must move on I must move on It's all in how you see Someone is right there looking for me I don't want to rest till I have found family. You know how it is like when you're on the road, you're with people 24-7 for a long time, you start to sort of become a unit. And that feels nice. You also have to like be grounded yourself emotionally, spiritually, right. whatever, or you're gonna just fall apart when when the group stuff isn't good. So Right. And would you say that the group stuff isn't good right now? Yes. How would you rate band morale at the moment? Not good. Not good? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Life happens, mm -hmm. and some bands go on a little breaks, some bands go on a little hiatus, or just slow down during a, the writing of a record, yeah. you know, whatever. So if morale is admittedly not A plus at the moment, <laughs> how, is it to, how is it to get up on stage and play these songs? Good, yeah. Fight 
to the flame Don't she be my waiting game Look, I'm burning up inside Oh, time Ooh, we surely come to this Nothing short of tenderness Us, nothing I could compare Their druthers, what would Medela look like? What would they? What would you guys be doing? How would your How would your life be different? Let's well, just take Aldi out of it completely. We'd be touring more, like longer runs. Like we still are playing. We're trying to do like four or five shows a month. Yeah. And because we've all been doing this for a long time and we're getting older, I think it's good. We're being more choosy and trying to not play for like three people in Buffalo yeah, all the time, right. for instance. Like, I don't want to be an absentee parent. Well, I especially be like, now, because yeah. things happen every day. Like, yeah, there's exactly. first words, yeah. there's first time they crawl or walk, or yeah. all these things are massive. The past year has been like the most beautiful, but yet challenging year of my life. I'm about to be 32, and now I'm a dad, and it does feel like a new chapter, for sure. Free grip the flow, all I want is some more. Move with the beat, who are you shaking for? Lost in your eyes as the moon slowly dies. Make way for the sun coming on the rise. Dance in a dream, let my heart feel it beat. The stranger you are, even though it seems that I know you are of this life.
Aldi. Look at Uncle Ryan. Oh! House ball. Go get it. So far. Well, it looks like you guys had a lot of fun up there. That's, that's like literally shorthand for your band sucks. <laughs> you getting that, Josh? Your rice cake, me. Open up, bud. Uh, not from strangers. Is this bringing you back? You know, it is. <laughs> Mostly to the petting zoo. <laughs> It's been hard. You can't like, even go to the bathroom in peace. Yeah, no, exactly. I peed on him. <laughs> Don't put that in there. Cut. Outtakes. <laughs> you mean accidentally, right? Yes. Yeah. Right? Accidentally? <laughs> Say it to every camera. Accidentally. accidentally. Don't break the wall, man. We're all about breaking the wall. Hi, four of you. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, four of you silently chuckling. That's how you know. That's how you know you've done something right. When you get a little bit of a camera shake, it's like that's how I know I'm doing my job right. I think like one out of every six of these goat chunks is getting in there. I'm telling you, there is gonna be like at least a pound of rice cakes in between his chest and the outside of the fjord. Jump to up to the oh just on a stroll. Oh hey guys! Oh wow! You're not on camera right now, Mark. Fancy scene. Okay. Hey. I don't know what your subtle cues are for a child wanting a nap, but maybe crawling into bed. Maybe one of them. Production funding for this program has been provided by AARP Vermont, Eyes of the World, Green Mountain Harley Davidson, Northfield Savings Bank, TikTok Jewelers, and by the continued support from viewers like you. Thank you.